they don't usually have names, but that one of course is Splodge, isn't it? We did have one with a, um, a, a sort of ginger top knot and he was called Donald. <laughs> I'm Carolyn Richards. This is Ashridge Court Farm at North Thornton. We produce beef boxes and we also sell uh, direct to butchers through Farm Wilder. We have a wedding venue. We're at the moment felling ash for, because of the dieback, so we're selling firewood. Uh, so we get through about 100 tonnes of firewood a year. I let out some land and we share farm other bits um, on arable. So we're fairly diverse. So the planting design here is a living barn and basically it's designed to give shelter and food to the cattle. And so on the outside here, we have um, the shrub alley, really, which is willows and hawthorns and spindles, elders, holly, a whole variety of native uh, shrubby types. And what we'll find out is which ones the cattle like to eat and which ones can take it. So the, the shrubs are actually planted in threes and fives in a kind of lozenge shape. So hopefully the cattle will eat a bit and move on rather than just standing at one lone, lone bit of willow and scoffing the lot, like, God. <laughs> and then within that are the taller trees, the downy birch, the alders, the aspens. We've got some uh, Scots pines. And in the middle three are oaks. So they're the kind of spine of the whole thing. And in time, we'll grow into mighty oaks. It's on good land, they should do and each one is surrounded by a little halo of, uh, of hawthorns to protect it against the, um, the cows when we let them in. You know, ten, ten year old hawthorns should be fairly butch and they'll, they'll, they'll stand there defending their oak to stop the cows wrecking them. So we'll see, we'll see what happens on that one. In addition to this design, the living barn, we have some copses which are more perhaps suited to everybody's idea of what pasture should be. You know, you can see that your cows would roam about eating the grass when it winds over the docks and, um, and then go into, into the copses for shelter when they needed it. So I think sort of farming wise, it's kind of more acceptable because you're not taking up so much of your field. Yeah, so that's birch just coming out the top there. Pretty leaves, that's a birch. That one hasn't emerged, so there's five and that one hasn't emerged. So they might be oaks. The ones that haven't come out might be oaks and the birch and, and the alders are popping out, fast growing things. We were interested in the silver pasture trial because uh, we're, we're scientists, both my husband and I, who I run the farm with. And um, it's a, an opportunity to do on-farm research. Initially was saying, right, well, I'm looking at it from cow welfare basically that it's shown that cows are much more relaxed underneath uh, tree cover. They get the benefits of, of the shade in the summer and the shelter in the winter and, and browsing on different shrubs and varying their diet. That was the initial um, pull and then you sort of think well actually carbon capture would be interesting to know how much carbon you do fix doing this sort of thing. And also I'm really interested in the soil effects and having looked at soils around trees uh, in other bits of pasture and noticing the difference in grass growth sort of out of the wind shadow of the tree. So where the leaves go, you get enriched soils. And so that'll be a really interesting um, facet of, of this to see what happens.